Because remember, as Muslims, we also believe that our souls leave our bodies when we sleep. So I think about it as like a cord, okay, between you, you, your body, and Allah. And your soul travels up that cord when you're asleep and then reels itself back into your body when you wake up. But when you're with Allah, that's why in your dreams we believe that Allah can give you signs in your dreams is because your soul is literally with Allah and he's giving you that information. If you're a Muslim and you struggle with the concept of how everything is already written versus making dua for things, like asking Allah for things, especially if you're a neurodivergent and you struggle with like grasping abstract concepts, this is for you. This is how I think about it in my mind. And I'm going to build off the idea of how in physics, everything exists all at once. Physics is literally the formula for life. Everything that exists, everything that functions in the world can be explained by physics. Okay, but Allah created physics. He created literally the perfect formula for everything. So think about this as an infinite web of realities. Okay, Allah knows every single thing that's going to lead to this one point, which is the end of times. So this point right here is the day of judgment, okay? Every single thing that ever happens in history, no matter what, the paths are all going to cross at this exact point. There's no avoiding it. So within this infinite web of life exists your realm, okay? Which also has a middle point that you cannot avoid. No matter what happens within this web, your realm, it's going to ultimately lead to this point. No matter what, all the lines are going to intersect at this one point. That's why as Muslims, we believe that your death is already predetermined. Because remember, this is physics and Allah created this entire formula. He knows the exact point. He's the only one who can figure out that exact point because he's the only one that knows everything there is to know about physics. You started somewhere on this circle based off of all these other realities that are existing. So every single thing that's happening in the world that has ever happened before you ultimately led you to be somewhere on this realm. Okay, so let's say you started like right here. So all of these possibilities are existing all at once, okay? And we have free will so we can make decisions that move us somewhere along this path. But ultimately, the only one who knows the best route is Allah and he's the only one that knows at any point where you are whether you're here or here wherever you are he knows what the next best thing is for you and what's the worst thing for you so the concept then of dua is while you're at a point you can ask Allah for guidance and help or to bring you something and he knows the best decision for you if you're ready for that thing at that time he can grant it to you if he knows that you still have a long way to go or there's things that you need to learn he'll redirect you somewhere until you get to a point that he knows is best for you because in reality there's probably one perfect path but nobody in humanity has ever been able to walk directly on that one perfect path because we are humans and we make mistakes so we're never going to know how to live perfectly okay part two Okay, part two of how Allah can be all-knowing while still um, giving us free will and the ability to make du'a. So everything in physics has a cause and effect. Anything that you do has an effect. But there's an infinite number of possibilities for every cause and effect, which Allah knows. You can choose the path you go down. Only Allah knows what's best for you. Which, by the way, when I say the best for you or like a perfect path, that's not a perfect path for this world. I'm talking about a perfect path for you to have the brightest light by the time you get to this point, okay? For you to have the most good deeds versus bad deeds, the, the scales for it to be as high as possible for you. Any point that you're at, say you're right here, it's intersecting with a whole bunch of other realities that you can move into. You can choose that path. If Allah wills it, he can also force you to go down another path. Or he can throw things in your circumstances that then force you to go down a certain path. And even those things, those challenges that are thrown your way, only he knows what the ultimate goal of those is. Because it could be that that's actually in your best interest for the path leading you here because of wherever you're at. And so when we make dua and we're reaching out to Allah, it's because we don't know where to go next and what's best and he does and the concept of allah guides you to make dua or he nudges you to make dua is because he ultimately holds your soul because remember as muslims we also believe that our souls leave our bodies when we sleep so i think about it as like a cord okay between you, you your body 
and Allah. And your soul travels up that cord when you're asleep and then reels itself back into your body when you wake up. But when you're with Allah, that's why in your dreams we believe that Allah can give you signs in your dreams is because your soul is literally with Allah and he's giving you that information. And the stronger your relationship with Allah, the closer that your light, your soul can get to him. And the stronger that cord gets. Think about it as a beam of light. And Allah can keep putting more and more light into that cord until it just keeps growing stronger. And the stronger the cord, the wider that light is, the more messages that can be transmitted and comprehended. And that's why when people say like they regret going against their gut feeling, it's because it's their soul telling them because Allah is telling the soul. This is the way that I think about things. At the end of the day, Allahu A'lam, we will never know how the world operates exactly. But my mind has always battled with the idea of spirituality and science and predetermination and dua. And it has always driven me crazy. And this is just the way my brain operates and I can't change it. And this has helped me tremendously lately and has strengthened my faith because it's helped me understand just how meticulous our existence is.